<laughs> I think I broke Unlike Uncle play. Banzai, we don't have to pay for this by the inch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they have a live recording of them. What video is this? This is the second part of the Ithaca video. What time is it approximately? It's roughly 3 a.m. Where is Stephen? Stephen has left. What does Bloom feel when Stephen leaves? The cold of interstellar space. Where are the others of this Bloomsday? In bed. Look up the passage. What did the bell chime remind Bloom of? Companions now defunct. Look at the passage. Why did Bloom bump his head? The furniture had been moved around. What furniture had been moved? The sideboard. That's what Bloom hit his head on. Two chairs, parlor style. They had been moved. And of course, the piano. What other evidence of activity did Bloom notice? The ashtray. Two cigarettes therein. Gloves on the piano. And the music for Love's Old Sweet Song laid out. What significant act does Bloom do to purge the room? He lights a cone of incense. Does Bloom go to the marital bed? Yes, Bloom goes to the bedroom and undresses for bed. Again, what time is it? It's about 3 a.m. What is their evidence of Bloom remaining the Bloom that we know and love to this point? He scratches a bee sting. He peels a toenail and sniffs it. Things people do when other people aren't looking, particularly people of the body, that Bloom is certainly a person of the body, we have no doubt. Is there evidence that another man has occupied the marital bed? There is. Crumbs, flakes of plum trees potted meat, the imprint of a human form, male, not his. What is a home without plum trees potted meat? Incomplete. Do Bloom and Molly speak? Yes. Bloom recounts his day with explanation of his late homecoming. Of what does Bloom fantasize? He dreams of a country estate with gardens, tennis courts, 
not too far from town, but out in the suburbs, but near a tram track, so he has the access to town. How does Mr. Bloom think he will afford this country estate? Perhaps a long shot horseplay? Or one of his many business schemes that he thinks of all the time. Has Bloom had thoughts of country life before? Yes. Remember earlier, Bloom thought as he read the paper about the ad for real estate in Palestine with citrus trees and melon fields and that uh, every investor would receive a, a case of fruit as evidence of their investment. Is Bloom honest in his account to Molly of his day? No. He does recount the funeral of Dignam. He does report in the evening that he attends a play, and he was with Mr. Minton and Stephen, who he brings home at this late hour, suffered an acrobatic accident, and Bloom helped him home. What are Bloom's typical last thoughts at the end of the day? Bloom often thinks of the ultimate advertising piece. Does Bloom have keepsakes which he keeps private? Yes, he does. There is a locked drawer where he keeps his letters from Martha Clifford. He has the suicide note from his father, a couple of pornographic postcards, the checkbook, and a few other assorted items. Is this drawer locked? It is. Does Bloom have the key? He does. Does Molly know of this drawer? She does. How do the Blooms sleep? The Blooms sleep head to foot, with one's head to the other's foot. What does Molly worry about sleeping in this position? Gas. What hint do we have of Bloom's newly found spark of desire? Bloom, as he prepares for sleep, and with affection, kisses Molly's rump, bare rump, her melonous rump, melonous yellow rump, and the approximation to her body stimulates sexual arousal in Mr. Bloom. Does Molly believe Bloom's account of his day? We'll see. Does Molly see a change in Bloom? We'll see. Does Molly like the idea of having Stephen around? We'll see. Does Molly have feelings for Boylan? We'll see. Can the Blooms work their relationship out? <laughs>